Hey guys, uh, it's Jackson here from Titanic Games. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a uh, how to climb a ladder basically in Unreal Engine. Um, I was on the Answer Hub and I saw someone had a question on it, and I thought it was kind of a uh, you know a cool idea that isn't really explored very much. So I figured I'd make a video on it. So um, let's get to it. So I'm using the third person uh, example project right now. You can use you know whatever project you want. The concepts are all you know kind of the same. So uh, first thing, I'm gonna open up the third person character or whatever character you're using, and I'm gonna add a boolean variable. So I'm gonna call this B can climb ladder, and just compile and save. And essentially, what this is gonna allow us to do is check you know can the uh, character climb the ladder. Uh, so by default, the value is you know false, uh, which is what we want. So now, in order to be able to actually you know climb a ladder, you need to have some kind of event happen that will allow you know the player to do the climbing. And um, what we're going to do for that is we're going to use a key press. Um, so I'm going to find the F key and um, so I'm going to use the F key. Uh, you could use whatever key you want to use, it doesn't matter. Um, alternatively, you could, in the project settings, under input, uh, you could set up an action mapping for it, uh, you know, if you use it a lot, maybe. Um, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to use, you know, the F key. So, off of pressed, we're going to do a branch, and we're going to connect the variable we just made to can climb ladder. Uh, and so what this is going to do is it's going to check, hey, can the character climb the ladder? And you know if they can, then, um, well, I guess rather first, if they can't, then don't do anything. But if they can, then we're going to uh, play a, um, a anim montage for climbing the ladder. So in order to play the montage, we need to get our skeletal mesh from there. I want to get the anim instance. And then off of that, then we can do montage play. So once we make our montage, which I'll show you how to do in a second or in a couple minutes, you can you know select the montage you want to play, um, and this will you know allow us to uh, play you know the actual climbing animation. Um, so now because climbing a ladder involves vertical movement, uh, what we're going to want to do is set, well first we want to get the character movement and then we want to set the movement mode to flying. Now the reason for this is um, animation montages uh, they won't actually um, allow the play or the character to you know move vertically uh, in the walking movement mode so you need to set it to flying in order to allow vertical movement. Um, and so we'll need to also, you know, set it back to walking later on, and I'll show you that too. So, so that's it for the third-person character. Back in the content browser, we're going to create a blueprint for our ladder. So, new blueprint uh, of type actor. I'm going to call it BP underscore ladder. You can call it whatever you want; it doesn't matter. So, open it up. Uh, first thing, add a static mesh and this will be our ladder um, and then we're also going to add a box collision um, and this will be our the climbing volume right so essentially when the player or you know the character overlaps this volume then they will be able to um, you know climb so what I'm going to do is uh, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to use a cube for the mesh. Uh, but you know, for for your game, you're probably going to want to have you know an actual ladder, something more professional than just a cube. Um, so right now, this cube is only 100 meter, uh, 100 units tall. So uh, we're going to want to bump that up a bit just to make it you know more like a ladder. So I'm going to set, I'm going to scale it uh, by four, so it's going to be 400 units tall. Um, it's important to you know know how tall your ladder is going to be. Because uh, that will, um, well, that will change, or we'll need that information for the animation. Uh, so now with the climbing volume, I'm going to change some of the uh, box extent values. Um, and I'm just going to move it a little bit so that you know it's in a 
good place for you know the player to overlap it. All right, now to set up the functionality, I'm gonna just yeah I just got rid of all that stuff. You don't need it. Um, so you can click on our our volume, right click, and then we're gonna add the on component begin overlap event and on component end overlap. All right, so from the begin one, we're going to cast to our character. So for me, it's the third person character. For you, it could be you know something else. Um, and we're also going to do the same thing for the end uh, overlap. It's just going to be slightly different. Um, so as as our character, we want to set the can climb ladder value, and we want to set it to true because when you're overlapping that volume, you know you are able or you want to be able to climb the ladder, uh, but but now, alternatively, when you end overlapping, um, we want to set it to false so that the player, you know, can't just start climbing. Um, all right, so that's kind of the basic um, setup there. Um, and one thing just to help us visualize, I'm actually going to untick the hidden in game just so you can see it when I show it to you. Um, so I'm going to pop it in the game here really quick. Oops. And just kind of turn it. Um, so now when I play, you know, you can see the volume. And when I overlap it, um, well, I can press F, right? And now I'm in that flying mode. So you can see I'm like doing some weird, you know, I'm like floating in the air, weird stuff like that. Um, and so this will be something that we need to address, uh, you know, setting him back to walking after the animation is done. But basically, what you see is uh, the functionality, it's working. So. Um, next, what we need to do is we need to, you know, create the animation. So, if you have a custom character, you probably already have a skeleton, um, which you'll need to use, um, and hopefully it has a root bone on it because we're going to be driving the animation with root motion. Um, but if you're using the uh, UE4, you know, mannequin here, then what you can do to find the skeleton is go into mannequin in character mesh and it's right here the sk underscore mannequin so right click on that and we're going to want to export it and you know just leave it as is doesn't you don't have to change the name um, and i'm just saving it to my desktop uh, so now what we need to do is sorry i'm just okay just ignore that what we need to do is go into our uh, your the 3D software program of your choice could be you know Maya like I'm using here it could be 3ds Max Blender you know Motion Builder whatever it doesn't matter um, so go into it and we're gonna import the skeleton um, so it should show up here there we go and you see it's got the mesh uh, but just ignore it um, so what we want here is we want to click on the root bone right so we're gonna animate this so that um, so that the root bone is actually moving with the character's animations. Um, so I'm not actually going to set up any kind of you know crazy cool um, you know climbing animations. I'm just going to leave it as is right now. Um, but uh, but the concepts will be you know the same for whatever animations you choose to do. So uh, for this, I'm also going to just kind of change the the frame range um, and yeah. So starting from your first frame with the root bone selected, add a key right to all the translations because um, we're only focused on the translations right now, not like rotation or anything. Um, so now I'm going to move to about you know frame five. I'm going to you know adjust to negative forty. That's fine. Um, and then I'm going to add another key, and then so you can already see there's a little bit of movement going on. Uh, so now I'm going to go to about 25 maybe. Um, so remember how I said that we need to uh, remember how tall our ladder is. Um, so you know in our example here it's about 400 units tall. Um, you know your ladder could diff uh, be different but basically you want to move him up uh, you know in the Z direction um, above a little bit above the height of your ladder uh, just so you know the character can get up and over the ladder. Um, so I'm going to put it at about 420 units that should be good and then again with all these selected I'm gonna key it and now finally I'm just gonna you know scooch them over a little bit at the last frame um, and then add another key 
So now if we watch it from the start, you know, you can see it goes, it goes over, up, and then over again. So that'll be our, our motion. All right, so with the root bone selected, only the root bone, not the, not the skeleton, oops, or I mean not the mesh. Go to File, Export, and I'm going to call this Climb Up Ladder. And make sure you are baking the animation, you know, and you're exporting the animation. So, export selection. Now we're going to go back into Unreal. Um, what am I doing for time? All right. When you go back into Unreal, and in our content browser, we are going to import uh, the animation we just made. So, climb up ladder, and make sure you select the skeleton that you've been working with. So, import it, and open it up. So what you'll see is this guy doing this weird motion. Um, you can see, I guess, our motion uh, that we made in the animation isn't really working. So that'll probably be something that you need to uh, play around with uh, in, you know, in your animating tool. Um, but the, the idea here is what we're going for. So you can see this red line. This means that, you know, he's just, um, well, he's not using root motion right now. So what's happening if you were to just play this is the you know the the mesh itself would move right it would move you know up on top of the ladder but your your capsule component or you know like the collision component that's uh, stop moving guy <laughs> that like kind of circles around him um, would uh, stay in place and so your guy would just end up like moving through walls or whatever and it it's not what you want so we need to enable the root motion but uh, first I'm gonna let you see it so see he's moving and now when I click enable root motion it um, you know he snaps back into place so so now what this is gonna mean is when we actually play the animation he's going to um, the capsule component and everything is gonna move um, so that's what we want so we can close out of that um, so now we need to make the montage. So I'm going to right click, go to create, and create and a montage. And you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to go with the default name for now. Um, all right. So open it up, and you can see um, it looks exactly the same right now as the you know the actual climb animation. So um, and that's what we want. Um, so now we got to go to the. Uh, this is where we're going to set the movement mode back to walking once the animation is or the montage is done playing. So for, let's go to notifies, we're going to right click, I'm going to add a new notify, and I already have one here called reset movement, um, but I'll just make a new one for you. So set, I'm going to call it set movement mode, why not, um, and yeah, set movement mode, that'll work. So we'll save it, and let's go, and now we need to find our animation blueprint, not the character blueprint, the animation blueprint. And inside of the event graph of it, we need to do event notify, oops, notify, and then choose your set movement mode. All right. So on its own, it doesn't do anything. But uh, basically, once the uh, you know the montage gets to that point, this event fires. Um, so we, what we need to do is get a reference now to our uh, character and then as the character we need to get the character movement and then from there set movement oops what did I do set movement mode back to walking all right uh, let's see mm, okay well I'll finish up here really quick so Set the movement mode back to walking, compile, save. Let's go back to our character, and we're going to add that new you know, montage we just made, compile and save. So now, if we go and play, now I press F, he climbs up, and, well, yeah, he moves over. So you can see it's working. So woohoo, <laughs> made a basic you know, ladder climbing thing. Um, and so that's going to do it, guys. Uh, there's the ladder climbing thing. And if you have any questions, comments, uh, leave them below, and um, I'll be sure to help you out. Uh, thanks, guys.